So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. Grandma would have a pot of beans on, and the next day we'd have bean sandwiches or bean burgers, and they were always delicious. So whether if you make your own pot of beans or you got canned beans, they're good. Great alternative, this is, y'all. This black bean burger is so delicious, and I'm not even fibbing to you. It's so good. And like I said, you can do it with any kind of beans, especially if you put on a big pot of beans that morning and you ate them for supper and the next day you need to you want to make you a, a burger these are delicious I mean you know it's not beef and it's not pork it's not ground turkey but I'm telling you it's a good burger so I hope y'all try this if for any reason that you just need to cut back on your on your meat or, you know, growing up, we always made do with what we had. So the next day, we always had bean sandwiches. So y'all try this. They're delicious. If you're using uh, store-bought canned beans, rinse them and uh, put them out and let them dry just a little bit. And that's what uh, I'm using my own home canned black beans. So when I got them out, I kind of rinsed them off. But if you're using like grandma had leftover beans in the refrigerator, we didn't rinse them. I've got uh, a whole onion here chopped. I got a half a bell pepper chopped up. You can use any kind of bell pepper, whether it be green, yellow, red, or orange. I just happen to have a, a sweet yellow one. I've also got a whole tablespoon of minced garlic, but I'm not gonna put it in yet. If you see me, I'm over here cooking. I know y'all thinking, where are you at cooking? I'm over here on the other side of the kitchen. We're doing a few things to the kitchen again, so <laughs> Mr. Brown rigged me up this uh, place where I can do some cooking here for y'all. So we've been sauteing the onion and the bell peppers. I'm going to put just a little bit of my clarified butter in there. Now look, y'all, y'all can make these burgers your own. Just do it the way you think it'd really be good. But I'm gonna put a little bit of clarified butter in there. Then I'm gonna put, uh, probably go ahead and put uh, my tablespoon of garlic in here because the uh, bell peppers and onions are pretty much sauteed, looking and smelling good. Yeah, we got another surprise for y'all. <laughs> and uh, it's gonna take a little bit of uh, renovation here in the kitchen. But it's going to be a surprise, so I ain't going to tell you yet. So I'm going to put my, my whole tablespoon of garlic in there. Yes, I'm doing a voiceover today. Uh, it's just the way it works out sometimes. But either way, it's a, it's a good recipe. So you just want to cook the garlic just for about a minute. So I'm going to put my bell peppers and onions and garlic in this pan right here and what you need to do is you're going to want to take something and just kind of smush up your bell peppers and stuff just a little bit that's just so when you go to mixing your your patties up they'll come together pretty good I think I'm going to grab a potato masher and we're just going to mash around on these bell peppers a little bit That's just to, to help it all come together and make a good smooth patty. Now my grandma, it was usually white beans, and the next day we'd have white bean sandwiches. 
and she didn't mix all this stuff in there but we're just kicking it up a notch so we're gonna put our spices in here we've got one and a half teaspoons of cumin a teaspoon of chili powder a fourth a teaspoon of smoked paprika and a teaspoon of garlic powder and we're just gonna mix it up in here with our onions and our bell peppers and our minced garlic and it smells so good so Mr. Brown made this little cooking area for me so I could still cook and we could do our renovation so here we got our black beans and you see how I've rinsed them and they're kind of dry there and if you're using like I said, if you're using your beans, leftover beans, you don't need to rinse them. Just put them in there and mix your other ingredients. So I salt and peppered my beans just like I would if it was hamburger meat. I've got, oh, it's a couple tablespoons of ketchup. Yeah, two tablespoons of ketchup. I've got one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and I've got two beaten large eggs now if you're not wanting to use eggs because you're vegan or something you can use a third of a cup of mashed sweet potatoes for to substitute for your two eggs and we're just going to mix that and I'm going to mash my beans but I don't want them all mashed up. I still want to have, you know, a few whole beans in my burger. But to get a, a, a good smooth, uh, good patty, you do want to mash some of them up. Grandma would toast our white bread and uh, we would kind of make uh, patties out of the white beans. Um, of course, they come straight out of the refrigerator, and we'd pat them out, and we'd fry them up in a pan and put them on that white bread. I'm going to use my potato masher again and uh, put some mayonnaise on that bread, and she put a big old hunk of onion on there, and that's how she ate her bean sandwiches. And I'm going to keep mashing. I'll show you the consistency that I like. And like I said, I want whole beans in there too. So that's starting to look pretty good. It's starting to look a little bit like refried beans that you're mashing up there, but you don't want to go completely to mashed beans. This is such a good way when you're short on meat or you have no meat, but you have beans, whether if it's white beans, black beans, red beans, chickpeas, uh, black eyed peas, you can, know, you can do this and feed your family. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put our bell pepper mixture in here. And it, it does, it smells so good with all them seasonings in it. And you're just gonna mix this up good. And it's gonna start thickening up and become a good consistency. But we still got a few more ingredients to add to it. It's always good to have recipes as an alternative for a substitute for meat and to make sure that you get your protein. So that's about the right consistency at this point. I'm going to add, um, this is a half a cup of breadcrumbs, but you can add a half a cup of oat flour. And as I stir this, you're going to see it's, it's really going to start thickening up. So anybody that doesn't eat meat or doesn't use, can't use regular flour, gluten-free, you can use oat flour. And like I said, the eggs, you can substitute for 
a third of a cup of mashed sweet potato. Now I'll have this uh, recipe down the sh in the, my description box below the video. I always have all my information down there. This is nutritional yeast, and this is a substitute for cheese. I have always kept nutritional yeast. This stuff is so good for you. You can sprinkle it on popcorn, on vegetables. We're going to be putting it in here, and what it's going to do, it's going to give it a buttery, cheesy taste. Nutritional yeast. You can buy it at Walmart. You can buy it online. I buy mine from Thrive Market, and I always leave my link below the videos to Thrive Market if you ever want to go in there and just research it. So it's, it's a wonderful place to buy products from. You can see it's starting to get a little bit thicker texture with that nutritional yeast in there. You sprinkle that stuff on popcorn, it's like you pour butter over it. And see what it looks like. So now we're just going to pat our patties out and uh, get to frying them up. I'm just going to use my dirty pan here that had the bell peppers and onions in it. We're just going to flatten them out. You see how easy that was? And they're staying together really good. And you see I still have whole beans in there. Now you can season these up with seasonings that you like. I just kind of like the, uh, the southwestern flavor to it. You don't like cumin, don't put the cumin in there. You want to put something else in there. You may have um, a mixture that you like to put on regular hamburger patties. That would be delicious in here. And you can grill these on the grill, and you can bake them in the oven. But just remember that all the ingredients in this uh, bean burger is already cooked. So all you're really wanting to do is just brown them on each side and just heat them through. That's all you have to do, so it's not going to take very long. I don't like my patties very thick. You may like yours thicker. I'm just going to fry us up a couple, and the rest of them I'm going to put in the freezer. And all I have to do is take one out of the freezer and heat it up. I'm going to salt and pepper them just like I would if it was regular hamburger patties. And once you flip them over, you could go ahead and sprinkle some more nutritional yeast on top of them, just like you were putting cheese on top. And this is my bag of nutritional yeast from Thrive Market. That's what it looks like. So we're going to let these brown on both sides, and then we're going to make us a good old burger. You can see it's getting close to... Feeding time, chore time. Danny will be in soon. And I know what you're thinking. I can't believe Paul Brown's going to eat a bean burger. <laughs> but you know what? He will. So we're just going to flip them over. You can see how they're just kind of brown on that one side. So it won't take long for this other side. You don't want to overcook them. makes a pretty burger. There they are. They're done. We're going to make us up a burger. I don't have hamburger buns, so we're going to use sliced bread. This is just wheat bread. Put a little, little bit of mayonnaise on it or put whatever you like on it. If you like ketchup, and of course I have to have a little bit of mustard on the other side. You know that first squirt's always running, so always, 
squirt the first squirt out on something first. We're going to put our patty over here. You can put you some more onion. I'm going to put me a piece of lettuce. You can put you some pickle on there. Just like you're making a regular hamburger. Put me some tomato on there. Delicious. I promise y'all, y'all will love these bean burgers. So I hope y'all like this recipe. I want to show y'all how I'm going to freeze them too. I just laid them out flat here and I froze, flash froze them and then I'll just uh, take them out once they're good and frozen and I'll throw them in a in a freezer bag or something like that. And when I want one or two, I can just take them out and warm them up. So you see how I've got parchment paper layered between them so they don't stick together. So that's the way I'll be putting them in the freezer. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It's just another way to, to stretch your budget, stretch your food. Never worry if you don't have meat on the table. Beans is a wonderful source of protein. That's how we got ours growing up. Y'all stay safe, fill your pantries, and God bless.